Before, we'd have to hire a private investigator to get information on people. Now they put it out um, for themselves, for everyone to see on Facebook and these other, and Twitter and other social networking sites. Um, that just people seem to lose their common sense when they get on the internet and forget that this is available for everyone to see. Peter, how, how is this coming up in divorce cases? Well, we definitely counsel our clients in, in our initial letter to them and our consultation. Please make your Facebook page private. Please password protect your email with a password that your sp spouse can't uh, determine. Please be careful what you say in public, over the internet, through your emails, because that could be used as evidence against you in your case, very damaging evidence. And realize that some of the items may be up from your, your college days where you were at a party and you did things you wouldn't want people to see. That is going to be Exhibit A in your custody case, in your divorce case. And people have become attuned to this because there's so many examples of divorce cases where social networking uh, posts have come up and back to haunt them and, and they have made it private or even taken the page down. What people don't realize is that it goes beyond that. This is a social network. So maybe it's the new uh, boyfriend or new girlfriend site that has the information on there about the trip that, that the spouse and this new paramour just took. Uh, pictures of them with the kids. Maybe uh, that boyfriend is making posts about the divorce case. There's all kinds of stuff that can be learned now on from this whole circle of friends that the party has too and that needs to be controlled but it's very difficult to do that because the party doesn't necessarily have control over what their friends say. There are also issues that if you take down every site or you delete every page whether you've destroyed evidence in a case that's called spoliation of evidence, and there could be damages for that. So how you handle these things, it's critical to talk to your lawyer about how to protect yourself from this damaging evidence and the destruction of perhaps damaging evidence. And there are ways of getting information even if it's taken down. Um, Facebook, we can't subpoena Facebook for information. There's a federal law that prohibits that. But what Facebook will do is restore all of the posts that have been on that person's site and that person then can be court ordered to download that information and produce it. So this is uh, extremely powerful evidence that could be obtained um, if you know what you're looking for. We also, people using email, Facebook, social media to create false evidence to frame the other side. So we have to be wary of that and know how to handle that kind of damaging evidence that it was in fact uh, created for the purpose of litigation by the other party. We've seen a lot of espionage and spying between spouses. I mean, this is such a personal relationship. They know each other inside and out. They may know their passwords. They know their weaknesses. And so we see people putting GPS tracking devices on cars and following them. We see them hacking into their computers all kind tape secretly tape recording them and many of these things can be criminal acts giving rise to tremendous penalties